Yehova Elohim Svaot. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me, and cover me and stir me, and speak through me with your Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Shua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Ezekiel chapter 36. Now you, human being, prophesy to the mountains of Israel. Say, mountains of Israel, hear the message of Yehovah. Yehovah Elohim says, the enemy boasting over you, ha, even the ancient high places are ours now. Therefore, prophesy and say that Yehovah Elohim says, because they desolated you and swallowed you up from every side so that the other nations could take possession of you, and now people are gossiping about you and slandering you. Therefore, mountains of Israel, hear the message of Yehovah Elohim. This is what Yehovah Elohim says to the mountains and hills, the streams and valleys, the desolate wastes and the abandoned cities now preyed on and derided by the other surrounding nations. Therefore, this is what Yehovah Elohim says. In the heat of my jealousy, I speak against the other nations and all of Edom, since, rejoicing with all their heart, they have arrogated my land to themselves as a possession and with utter contempt seized it as prey. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say to the mountains, the hills, the streams, and the valleys that Yehovah Elohim says this, I speak in my jealousy and fury because you have endured being shamed by the nations. Therefore thus says Yehovah Elohim, I have raised my hand and sworn that the nations surrounding you will bear their shame. But you... Mountains of Israel, you will sprout your branches and bear your fruit for my people Israel, who will soon return. I am here for you, and I will turn toward you, and then you will be tilled and sown. I will multiply your population, all the house of Israel, all of it. The cities will be inhabited and the ruined rebuilt. I will multiply both the human and animal populations. They will increase and be productive, and I will cause you to be inhabited as you were before. Indeed, I will do you more good than before, and you will know that I am Yehovah. I will cause people to walk on you, my people Israel. They will possess you, and you will be their inheritance. Never again will you make them childless. Yehovah Elohim says, Because they say to you, Land, you devour people, and make your nations childless. Therefore you will no longer devour people, and you will not make your nations childless anymore, says Yehovah Elohim. I will not permit the nations to shame you, or the peoples to reproach you any longer. And you will no more cause your nations to stumble, says Yehovah Elohim. The word of Yehovah came to me, human being. When the house of Israel lived in their own land, they defiled it by their manner of life and their actions. Their way before me was like the uncleanliness of Nida. Therefore, I poured out my fury on them because of the blood they had shed in the land and because they defiled it with their idols. I scattered them among the nations and dispersed them throughout the countries. I judged them in keeping with their manner of life and actions. When they came to the nations they were going to, they profaned my holy name. So that the people of them, these are, the, these are Yehovah's people who have 
been exiled from his land. But I am concerned about my holy name, which the house of Israel is profaning among the nations where they have gone. Therefore, tell the house of Israel that Yehovah Elohim says this, I am not going to do this for your sake, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have been profaning among the nations where you went. I will set apart my great name to be regarded as holy. Since it has been profaned in the nations, you profaned it among them. The nations will know that I am Yehovah, says Yehovah Elohim. When before their eyes I am set apart through you to be regarded as holy. For I will take you from among the nations, gather you from all the countries, and return you to your own soil. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your uncleanliness and from your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit inside you. I will take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit inside you and cause you to live by my laws, respect my rulings, and obey them. You will live in the land I gave to your ancestors. You will be my people, and I will be your Elohim. I will save you from all your uncleanliness. I will summon the grain and increase it, and not send famine against you. I will multiply the yield of fruit from the trees and increase production in the fields so that you never again suffer the reproach of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your actions that were not good. As you look at yourselves, you will loathe yourselves for your guilt and disgusting practices. Understand, says Yehovah Elohim, that I am not doing this for your sake. Instead, be ashamed and dismayed for all your ways, house of Israel. Yehovah Elohim says, When the day comes for me to cleanse you from all your guilt, I will cause the cities to be inhabited and the ruins to be rebuilt. The land that was desolate will be tilled, whereas formerly it lay desolate for all passing by to see. Then they will say, the land that used to be desolate has become like Gan Eden, and the cities formerly ruined, abandoned, and wasted have been fortified and inhabited. Then the nations around you will remain, will know that I, Yehovah, have rebuilt the ruins and replanted what was abandoned. I, Yehovah, have spoken, and I will do it. Yehovah Elohim says, in addition, I will let the house of Israel pray to me to do this for them, to increase their numbers like sheep, like flocks of sheep for sacrifices, like flocks of sheep in Jerusalem, as its designated times. In this degree, will the ruined cities be filled with flocks of people? Then they will know that I am Yehovah. How can we learn to love our Creator for reading this great, excellent 36th chapter? Of Ezekiel, we can proclaim the written words of Yehovah to all creation. Hear the written word. Hear the written message of Yehovah. Humble yourself before Yehovah. Sing praise to Yehovah. Trust Yehovah can sprout your branches, and you will bear fruit pleasing to Yehovah. Trust that Yehovah is here for you and will turn toward you. Trust you of all can multiply you. Trust that you of all can do more good than before. Know that he is you of all. Trust you of all to keep you from stumbling. Be purified by the manner of your life and your actions, lining them up with the written instructions of you of all. Make set apart you of all's name. Trust you of all will act for the sake of his holy kadosh, set apart name. Know that he is Yehovah. Trust Yehovah will sprinkle clean water on us and we will be clean. He will give us a new heart. 
Yehovah will put his spirit inside of us. Yehovah will take out the stony heart and give us a heart of flesh and put his spirit inside of us and cause us to live by his laws, his instructions, respect his rulings and obey them. We will live in the land he gave and be his people. Trust that he, Yehovah, is our Elohim. Trust that Yehovah will save us. Trust that Trust that we'll do all of his, of this and more because anything we have done, because he is Yehovah. Know that he is Yehovah. Pray, house of Israel, to Yehovah and know that he is Yehovah. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can point all to Yehovah who gives a new heart of flesh to obey his laws, instructions, and rulings bear one another's burdens, proclaim the good news of Yehovah that he saves. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love sustenance and friendship you have all lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you know set in place all you need to be whole and complete shalom shalom